What's up guys, it's John Reeves Live and today we're going to be doing a reaction to 1OK Rock. This song is called Taking Off and this is actually going to be our first ever time watching a drum version which is like the live show but the camera is focusing mainly on the drummer or primarily or only on the drummer which I actually love these. I'm a huge fan of drums though I'm not able to play them very well. I respect the crap out of them and I love him as a drummer. So if y'all are new to my channel please smash that sub button and let's freaking do this. Three, two, one. Boom! He's such a good drummer, man. Look at that crowd, too. Dang. You know, they often say that drummers have the best seat in the house because they get to see the crowd, they get to see everything. So, like, I'm glad that we're getting this bird's eye view of the drum set. Also, that's a beautiful, like, a satin black with that freaking, like, that accent. I love his drum set, man. Mm. Snare's got such a good tone. Oh, it's so good. Yes. I love his fills, man. I like the way that the guitarist and the drummer right here are like trading off fills because there's certain times where like at the end of a guitar riff, the guitarist will go and then the drummer will like just kind of do a steady beat over that when then the next time around the drummer will actually do a really cool drum fill where the guitar is just playing strumming notes very intricate very cool stuff and i like hearing bands play with the music like that He's such a good drummer, man. Uh, listen, I am a massive fan. I feel like drums live make the entire performance. I had a drummer named 
Paco was probably one of my best drummers that I think I've ever played with. He was hilarious. He was a really amazingly talented drummer. He did really cool drum fills. He was very creative with it. Loved him to death. First big show that me and him ever played together live. We were playing at this community center of some sort or something like that, but it was like a sold out place. There was no actual stage. We just had like monitors separating the crowd from us. Freaking nuts. People were crowd surfing, falling on to like where we were playing at. People were jumping off the monitors into the crowd. Crazy show. Well, I look back for a moment and I'm like looking back and playing and looking at Paco, our drummer. He's doing like the windmill. If anybody knows what that is with your hair, by the way, your head up here, this head, he's doing the windmill with that. So he's like whipping his hair around, doing like just beating the crap out of the drums. I look out, he freaking like does the windmill, somehow gets his hair stuck in his drumstick because like if you're a drummer, there's like little frailed parts on sticks. Freaking gets his hair stuck in his drumstick and he's still playing. And then I see him go like this, whop, and he freaking rips his hair out. I mean, root and all, freaking rips his hair out with the stick involved, doesn't even miss a beat, just keeps going. And I'm like, oh my God, that was our first show playing with him. And I was like, this guy is amazing. But I freaking love drummers. I believe his name is Tomoya freaking amazing you can tell he's just got so much personality i loved seeing him in the flip a coin documentary and i really want to start watching more behind the scenes stuff of 1ok rock because i see a lot of my early years of playing music and their early years of playing music and i love finding out like how they got so successful how they grew from where they were to where they are now and like just the process of that it's very intriguing to me and i want to watch more of it so if you guys have any suggestions or recommendations, please drop them in the comments. If y'all want to support my channel, I do have a Patreon and the link will be in the description below. Spread some positivity out there. Be kind to one another and I will catch y'all next time. Freaking toodles!